Kim Kardashian did the crypto industry a favor. Emily Parker is executive director of global content at Coindesk, a media event. Indices and data company, and a former policy advisor at the U.S. State Department and writer slash editor at the Wall Street Journal. She is the author of Now I Know Who My Comrades Are, Voices from the Internet Underground. The opinions in this commentary are her own. Read more opinion at CNN. On Monday, the Securities and Exchange Commission announced that it civilly charged Kim Kardashian for promoting a crypto asset, Ethereum Max, on Instagram without disclosing that she was paid to do so. Kardashian has agreed to pay a nearly $1.3 million fine and to not promote any cryptocurrencies for three years, the SEC said. This case reflects a much larger problem in the crypto industry. Celebrities are using their influence to promote cryptocurrencies, a notoriously complex and risky asset class, which can lead people to invest in coins or projects that they may not understand. While the SEC went after Kardashian for not disclosing payment for promotion, it also made clear that it considers Ethereum Max to be a security. Securities come with a strict set of rules, designed to protect investors. This should signal to celebrities and other crypto promoters to think twice, before giving out what appears to be financial advice to a broad swath of consumers. Kardashian isn't the first celebrity to get in trouble with the SEC, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Steven Siegel and DJ Khaled also paid fines for their crypto promotions. But other crypto-related celebrity endorsements, while not illegal, are still controversial. Take Elon Musk's tweets supporting Dogecoin, a Shiba Inu-themed cryptocurrency. Then there was Matt Damon's promotion of the crypto exchange platform, Crypto.com or Larry David's Super Bowl ad for crypto exchange FTX suggesting you were hopelessly behind the curve if you didn't believe in crypto. There have been so many celebrities promoting non-fungible tokens, essentially one-of-a-kind digital assets, that it's hard to keep track. This is not normal. It's much rarer to see high-profile celebrities doling out financial advice about more traditional assets like stocks. If a celebrity promoted a random stock, would you buy it? Neeraj Agrawal, communications director at the cryptocurrency policy think tank Coin Center, told me just because it's crypto, you shouldn't throw all due diligence out the window.